Hey everybody, I'm here today. We're going to do our next training and today what I want to talk about is the time conundrum. So for those of you guys that don't know me, I'm Jen Newland. I am a women's business strategist and what I do is I help women say goodbye to the nine to five and to launch their own businesses. So with the time conundrum, I'm going to give you guys some tips on how you can get better time management because it's something that we can all do better. And I'm a big time waster myself. I mean, who, may, who whoever goes on social media, right? We go scrolling through social media and, and before we know it, hours have passed and it's just, it sucks you in. So we need to realize, first of all, that we have been brainwashed, okay? We've all been brainwashed to think that you have to, in order to be productive, you have to show up somewhere, even if you are working at home or an entrepreneur or you work in an office, we have to show up from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m., give or take an hour here, an hour there. But we have to work eight hours in order to be productive. Even if you don't get really anything done in those eight hours, you still have to be present for those eight hours. And it's crazy because when I left the corporate world, and started working on my own, I found myself still feeling like I had to do a nine to five, had to put in time nine to five in order to feel like I was productive, like I was part of the working world. And that's the thing, that is so wrong, that you, we have got to get out of that mindset. Studies show that if you give somebody, this is the time conundrum, if you give somebody a set amount of time to do a set amount of work, they will, as long as there is incentive around it, uh, they will get that work done. If you give them three hours, they will get that work done in three hours. If you tell them they have eight hours, it will take them eight hours to do it. Don't you guys agree? I mean, I know if you guys, it's like we have it in our head, oh, I've got all day, or I've got all month, or I've got all year, which is the worst. Setting goals at the beginning of the year of what you want to accomplish for the rest of the year is one of the worst ideas that you could ever have um, because it's going to happen. You're going to know that you have all this time and you're not going to be productive. So we can do so much more if we limit the time that we give each other or we give people to do certain projects. Uh, I really struggle with this concept because you know I get up in the morning and I want to start right at nine o'clock. But my workday typically does not start until around twelve or twelve thirty, because that's when I'm available. That's my best time to work. So I personally have to stop thinking that if I'm not working at nine a.m., I'm not being productive. That is the wrong mindset. It's amazing, you know, when we realize how maybe my work is an hour here, an hour there, and I get more work done on my one or two hours a day here, I have more output than I ever had in a month working in a corporate environment. Hey, Sheila, because I, in a corporate environment, I knew that I had this set amount of time. I knew I had all week or all month, so I would just not do it, and it's very natural for us to kind of just fart around and not get it done. So realize, guys, that you will get it done. You have to limit your work parameters. So you, if your boss is telling you that you've got a week to get a project done, don't let that be what's in your head. Tell yourself, like, I've got to get this done. If it's a week, then I've got to get it done today. And I want you to wake up every morning and ask yourself, what is, if, okay, so say that you, something, you had a medical issue and your doctor told you that you could only work two hours a day, two hours a day. That'd be great, right? What would you go into the office today and work on if you could only work for two hours and the rest of the day you went home and relaxed? Two hours. And that's going to help you define what your objectives are each day. So you should ask yourself that question every day. What is my most important thing to do that I can only do in two hours? And you'll find that in those two hours, you're not going to be scrolling Facebook or uh, going out to lunch with your friends or meeting up for coffee. You're not gonna do it because you don't wanna spend your two hours doing that. You only have two hours. It's going to be crunch time. You're going to find how much how much more you, you put the pedal to the metal and get things done. So ask yourself every day, um, what are the time wasters? So we spend 80% of our day uh, doing things that are not productive. So really, it's it's about finding like where are you spending your time, what are you doing, uh, you know, if if you're doing anything like endless email, I'm sure you guys understand. We're, we're always getting involved in email. Do you guys find that you sign on to your email and it just completely takes over your day or your morning and you have to, and we all, we've heard it before, you've gotta shut the email off. I know a lot of us work in jobs where email is very prevalent and we need to be, you know, have a, a, a turnaround time on it. However, you've got to realize the triggers that it presents. 
and find a way to schedule yourself time to review the email. You don't just have, the email cannot be freestyle. You have to schedule yourself time. Maybe it's every hour, maybe it's every two hours, maybe it's every 30 minutes, whatever your job dictates, but pick a, a way, a time, where that is your only time in order to look at email. Because email is a dangerous game and it will take you, it will take you down. Um, how much time are we spending going out to lunches? How much time going out and getting coffees? Like we waste so much time. And it's not that you can't, do those things, but ask yourself, if I can get all of my work done in two hours instead of eight hours, then I can go do the things that I want to do. Then I can relax for the rest of the day and, and shoot the shit and hang out and go get coffee and be fine with it. But figure out what the things are that you have to do and get them done. And according to Tim Ferriss for the four hour work week, which I love his book, don't ever have a to-do list written on your computer. And I love that idea. And it's like, well, why not? He says, and I totally agree with him on this, if you have a to-do list on your computer, then it's like it gets long and big and complicated and it should never be complicated. You should have a to-do list every day that's on a piece of paper and it should have never have more than two things on it. Two things, because those are your frogs. There's a book called Eat That Frog and it's about how we never want to eat our frog because it's kind of in the way and we're like... It's not the fun thing that we want to do, but on your to-do list should be your frogs. It's the two things that you really don't want to do, but you know you need to do. So eat that frog, put them on your list. It should be a small enough list where you can just put it in your pocket if you want to. Uh, so the other thing is I want to make sure that you, know, you guys are asking yourself, what are the time wasters in my day? What can I eliminate? And and figure out what your two hours are. What is What are your two hours? Because again, I guarantee you guys, you will get, in two hours, you will get the same, if not more work done than you normally would take eight if you put your mind to it. So that's my thought today on time wasters. This is big for me when I read about the, this whole thing because it's true. We always say that we're too busy. And you know the person that's in your office that runs around and says like how busy they are, like, oh, I'm so busy, I'm so busy, I'm so busy. That person that's always so busy, well, the joke is actually that that person is the least busy person. Because when you have time to go around and talk about how busy you are and how important you are, uh, what you're doing is you're actually putting a, a flag on your head saying that I'm not busy at all. And I just want you guys to think I'm busy because it is very exhausting to pretend to be busy. So they're probably very exhausted just pretending to be busy. So who are those people uh, realizing that if you guys, and you guys know, if you're truly busy, what are you doing? You are not running around shuffling papers and uh, you are like nose to the grindstone. You are not to be found. You're like on your computer, completely locked down and you're, you're, you're truly busy. Like if you're, if you're truly busy, you're not talking to me. You're not engaging with me, you know, in the office. You're just busy and you don't feel need to tell everyone that you're busy. So the, the person that runs around like that is, that's not a busy person. That's a, that's a fake busy person. So just tell them you're being like a fake busy right now. I don't want to talk to you. And the other thing is people always say that they don't have time because, again, they're too busy. We make time for the things we want. It's amazing. It's amazing to me how someone can be so busy, yet they can leave at 2 o'clock to go to their kids play or baseball game or, uh, you know, watch their daughter play volleyball or whatever it is that they do. And it's – we make time for the things we want. So that's not to say that there's anything wrong with it, but – if you if you realize the time conundrum around that, if you have something where you have to leave today at two o'clock, you will make it happen, right? And you will get everything done that you need to get done or to, for you to leave at two o'clock because you've got something important to do and you have every right to leave at two o'clock. Yet, when we don't have that focus, we just kind of fart around all day and get nothing done. So I just wanna help you guys be more productive. I have to apply this like tenfold at home because it's just me. And I find myself, and I'm with you, like completely mindlessly scrolling social media and doing things, working on design or graphics that I don't know why, and I just get into a rabbit hole. So I totally understand, but get your day in order. And a book recommendation is Tim Ferriss's The 4-Hour Workweek, one of the best books I've bought. So thank you guys so much. Let's see what comments. Sheila, hey Jen. I yes, good Sheila, I'm glad. I know. It's like I call it a fart in the wind. It's like just like farting all over the place. Yeah, you got to get focused. So what are your, what is your things that you only have two hours to do today? So I really love that question. If someone tells me when I wake up in the morning, Jen, you've only got two hours to work today. Because actually guys, 
I do only have two hours because my daughter's not in daycare anymore right now so I have two hours to work every day and it's from 12 to 2 and if you guys are moms or anyone will probably realize that it's because I have uh, she's in her taking her nap from 12 to 2 so I literally only have two hours and when she goes to bed I immediately think what can I do that I can't do when she's here and that's why I always get on my video calls around 12 o'clock because this is something that I can't do with her um, I work on my graphic design when she's not here because those are things I like to get really rabbit holy in and, and focus on uh, and and I usually schedule any client calls that I have I schedule those between 12 and 2 as well because again I don't want to get interrupted but I'm not gonna cook my lunch between 12 and 2 I'm not gonna uh, there's just so much I'm not gonna post between 12 and I mean because I can do those when she's around so I really try to manage my time and Tim Ferriss's book Sheila is fabulous the four-hour work week so all right I will talk to you guys later thank you so much if you like this content please consider sharing it and or joining our entrepreneur studio it's our free Facebook little community that we have so if you want to join that I'll put the link on as well thanks guys